Red MacGuffin Reviews. Red Sun, 1971. Wow, what a movie. It's got two legends. Charles Bronson. Shiro Mufane, Mif Mifune, My Foon, My Fune. They're both in this. Yeah, two action legends. One from, you know, East, East meets West here. And uh, yeah, I only heard about this movie recently and I've watched it on Prime Video. And yeah, what more can I say? It's, uh, it's like a dream come true. Love westerns, love these two actors, and yeah, let's talk about it a bit more. Okay, Terence Young directed this, and you may know that name. He also directed Dr. No, From Russia With Love, Thunderball. So yeah, he's the man that gave us James Bond movies, an action pioneer, and he also directed Wait Until Dark. So Terence Young, thank you, sir. Um, and this is a good movie. It's no classic like uh, those three James Bond movies, but it's it's great to see these two actors together in a Western. I mean, the connection, there's a lot of connections in this movie. We have Charles Bronson, who was in a remake of a movie Kishiro was in, Magnificent Seven, Seven Samurai, brilliant action movie. That's a five star gold hat movie and um yeah so you have these two legends with that connection coming together you have let's let's talk about the plot i'm excited you can hear my voice i'm excited about this um we have the japanese ambassador is on his way from the west coast of america to the east coast to washington in 1970 and he's bringing, he's going to visit the U.S. president. He's going to bring him an ancient Japanese sword as a gift. And he has a bodyguard called Kuroda Jub, Jubei, Jube, played by Tashiro Mufane, Mufun. And uh, they're on their way on the train. But a gang decides to rob the train and take the gold shipment. And the gang is comprised of Charles Bronson's character, Link Stewart, and Alain Delon, who plays Gauche. They're the heads of the gang, and they want the gold. And uh, they get the gold. They rob the train, but Gauche also wants the sword. He, he uh, wants the, the ancient sword. He likes the look of it. He wants to put, put it into a pawn shop. I don't know why he wants it, but he does take it. Um, so the ambassador sends... Oh, hold on. Ghost betrays Link and uh, leaves him for dead. Um, tries to use dynamite to blow him up. So Link is left there and Ghost heads off with the gang and the money. And... Uh, Go, uh, Link su survives, of course, and the, amb the Japanese ambassador wants him to go with Kuroda and get the sword back and uh, whatever way they can. And they have a certain amount of time before uh, the ambassador gets to Washington. So if Kuroda doesn't succeed, he's going to have to do the, the Harry Carry on himself. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a time scenario there where he has about seven days to do it and uh yeah this is a good watch this was enjoy it's no classic it was enjoyable it's great to see these two actors um together and uh their characters over the while they're while they're trying to get their hands on gauche bond and uh well try to well the thing is uh link wants doesn't want to kill Ghosh until he finds out where his cut of the money is, or the money, or the gold. And, uh, but Kuroda wants, the minute he, he sees Ghosh, he wants to kill him. He's, he doesn't want to ask him any questions about gold. He wants to, so there's a bit of a, a battle there about, you know, you have 
lynx side and you have corroda side one wants to kill goat the other wants to use them to get the gold and um they set out through the west but to you know they haven't got horses at the start but they have to go and get horses and they come across comanches and they get their hands on goat's girlfriend christina played by ursula andrews and there's an also a connection between Arthur Andrews and the director, Terence Young, and Dr. No. And uh, another connection there. So let's talk about Charles Bronson. He was also in the Death Wish movies, which are great. And um, Once Upon a Time in the West, Magnificent Seven, Great Escape, Legend. A lot more movies, a lot more great movies. Toshiro Mufain was in Akira Kurosawa movies. Um, Yojimbo, Rashomon, Throne of Blood. High and low, and uh, yeah, so, and he's in one of the best samurai movies ever, and best action movies ever, Seven Samurai. And uh, Alain Delon, who plays Gauche, was in Le Samurai, haven't seen that, I want to see that. The Leopard, Le Clise, and Plan Bayou. Bayou. My French isn't so great. And so, yeah. Oh, so I suppose a little samurai connection there, but the samurai movie isn't, it's about a hitman. It's not about a samurai from Japan. Ursula Andrews, Dr. No, Casino Royale, The Blue Max, and Clash of the Titans. And, uh, yeah, so she was in two James Bond movies. Yeah. One directed by John Huston, Casino Royale, and they got her back then to be in Dr. No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, the two boys go on a manhunt, trying to get the sword back, trying to get the gold back. They bond in the West. They have funny adventures. They become friends. And yeah, they they get Christina. They deal with Comanches. And who survives at the end? I won't spoil this. But yeah, I wished. Um, let's see. Sergio Leone had directed this. Or, yeah, someone, um, yeah, I don't think this is as strong as I would have hoped it to be. But look, seeing these legends together and, uh, yeah, having Kashiro Mufain go up against Charles Bronson and uh, bring his samurai skills to the Wild West. Ooh, my head is exploding here. So, yeah, Red Sun. 1971, check it out. I don't know where to get a three or four. I mean, it gets a three for just the story being a bit mediocre. Um, I wish the dialogue was a bit better. But look, I think I have to give it a four because all the legends in this, Ernst Young directing, we have Charles Bronson. Anyway, all I talked about. So yeah, check it out. I watched it on Prime Video. And I'm going to have to get my hands on it on Blu-ray or DVD because it's, yeah, it's great. It's great just to see, because, yeah, as I said, recently heard about it and I had to watch it. And it's a good watch, but as I said, no classic. And, uh, yeah, but it's a, definitely a very good Sunday afternoon, you know, Western to watch. And yeah, I like that genre. Okay, Fred's not guff. Fred's going. Fred McGuffin is finied. 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 Finito. Finito. 